Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video showing how to get custom movement integrated into Survival Game Kit version 2. I had some problems. I had no issues getting it integrated into um, version 1, but I had a bunch of problems in version 2, so I figured I'd share what I just learned uh, while it was fresh in my mind, and hopefully that helps somebody out there. Um, the first thing you got to do is just the regular um, migrate the custom movement files here. We'll do that first. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. Uh, we've got custom movement here. So what we'll want to do first, this is a brand new version of the kit. I just uh, downloaded fresh so I could show you without all my additions in there. Um, so we'll have to set up the character skeleton um, so that it's ready for retargeting. So it looks like it's already auto mapped. Okay, so the SGK skeleton's all good to go, even uh, right off the bat. And then okay, and then we got the custom movement skeleton here. Auto map that. Use current pose. Save. Okay, and now that we're in here already, we're just going to retarget and choose the um, survival game kit skeleton, retarget, let it copy everything over. Now, personally, I like to delete these because it's less to look through later on when you're adding new items and you have to search through all of the UE4 mannequins and so forth. It's just less to look at. Uh, so we'll replace all the references there with the SGK skeleton and get rid of it. Okay, so now we're done with that. We'll want to open up the survival game kit character. Now, up here, we're going to add the custom movement component. Compile and save, and then up in class settings, uh, we're going to add custom movement character interface and get that done. And then open up interfaces, and you'll have three new interfaces here if you've compiled. So we're going to just check these out real quick. This needs to have the custom movement drug in and added to it. This, we're going to want to create a variable. And we'll just name that can enter custom movement. Uh, make sure to check that to true and hit save. And this we can leave where it's at. OK, so then we need to next um, copy over some controls. So we're going to open up the example character and get a couple things that we need here. Uh, first thing is we're going to want to copy this um, macro. So you just hit copy on that if you're using 427. If you're not using 427, you'll just have to manually create this macro uh, right here. Just hit create. Um, if you are using 427 or uh, later, you can just hit paste macro and you just want to set it up exactly like this. And if you're not sure um, how to get these on here, you can add the inputs by clicking on them, or you can just drag these wires out, and it will add an input to or output. So for f true and false, you can just drag true and then drag false just beyond it, and it will add those inputs. If you're able to copy them, you're good to go. OK, so now that that's done, we'll go back over here. And we need to grab this. We can just actually grab all of this. And we'll grab all of this. And then come back over here. And we want to go to inputs. This is one of the parts that I had trouble with that's not the same as the integration video. So I'll just show you how I did it here.
Okay, so of these two, this one is going to go down to the right. And then we're going to need this one again here. And we'll need this one again here. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so let's plug this in. We'll use our is, whoops, shoot, my bad. Get is custom movement uh, macro to check whether or not we're in custom movement. If we are, great. We're going to send this here. And if we're not, we come back down. And then we will take axis value. And for this one, it's just going to plug straight in. double checking this for the next one okay so the next one it's kind of the same thing let's move this over Sorry, that's force of habit. I should not be doing that because I'm not even keeping this project. Um, the next one down is just going to be a little different because these normally are set up so that this access value has a has two keys assigned to it instead of one key. And the two keys will either give it a positive or a negative access. That's one of the problems that um, was causing the integration video, the first integration video created not to work anymore. So here, what we got to do is just before we add that input, we just have to add this little guy. So we want to hook that up and then grab our macro. move it so you guys can see what's going on and then make sure you plug these back in here as well because you'll still need to get you'll still as this is rolling you're still going to need this world direction later on and then the same thing for this one here Okay, so all of our controls are set up so that we can, all of our, the motion should be working fine now. So we'll just check over here. I think there's a couple more things we need. Um, oh yeah, when you leave jump, So we've added that just look real quick to make sure yep good and we also need these two just go ahead and copy paste them in compile and save uh, so now this is all set up and we will need to head to, let's see, the Anim Blueprint. Um, we'll go into this example here. And then in the Anim Graph, this is the only thing that, because this is so well designed, this is the only thing that we're going to need to add. 
Uh, so go to SGK, just click Mesh, and then grab your um, third person anim BP. I'm not going to go in and change these all um, because it's the same thing for all of them. You just want to find the output pose and paste this in. The linked anim graph and the custom movement um, slot is going to drive the animations over top of everything. So that's all you'll need to add here. Um, and then the other thing that we have to do is go into the actual um, this component that we added here. So you'll want to edit the component itself. And then we want to look for for check entering custom movement zone. Now here's where the other problem is. Uh, when you go to try to enter any of these movement zones, whether it be a ladder, a climbing hold, or whatever, it's not getting the, um, the correct information here. So what we need to do is actually unhook these two. We don't need this anymore. And then from here, we're going to cast the SGK master character. Hook this up as our object. And then from here, So let me see here. This is what we need. So this will give us the correct values for this. Uh, I plugged in move, um, character movement. It's not character movement. It's this character. Sorry, I wasn't looking. So that should be good. Uh, I believe we have everything. Let's check it out real quick. And if we don't, I'll stop the video, figure out what I <laughs> missed doing this off the top of my head, and then we'll. I'll be back to tell you should work though. Oops, uh, we gotta go. Change the game mode to SGK, oops, not menu. Jeez, I can't type today. Okay, so we have our survival game character. We can enter, climb, enter, uh, jump, moves us away. That's good. Make sure this is the stretchable ladder. That's good. Climbing holds, enterable. And as you can see, right is right, left is left. Up, well, is, there's no path then to go up, but up is up, <laughs> and um, so those are the ups. Left, down, down, up, down. So yeah, all of the directional controls are working now. Um, you can enter those two issues um, were the wrong rotation, so you couldn't tell if the character was facing this or not, and then the way that the controls were set up but should be working now. Um, I hope that helps somebody <laughs> that was having problems like I was. And um, if you guys have any more requests for integration tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.